we have in this file all standard doors and windows finalized, including this pivot door inserted in a wall made with glass. And the frame of this glass skin was made with column and beam tools. So here is the column tool and beam tool. So in this class, our task is to make custom doors. I want to make at the ground floor. Here I'll put the DWG reference from ground floor. And we will have a glass sliding door to provide a completely free space when the doors are open. So all leaves will be moved onto this corner. I can show you in the final rendering images. When the doors are open, we have a totally integrated space between the living room and the pool. The door leaves are joined here. At this side, there are six leaves and the other side has three leaves. In this area of the wet bar, we also have sliding doors. But here they are opaque leaves that form a solid gray closure when the doors are closed. Basically, before we make an entire custom door, I will teach how to make a custom door leaf. So here, for example, I have a common door, selecting and entering on settings. In door leaf type, going to the end of the list, you see the option custom door leaf. So let's make it. Going to floor plan, I'm going to use constructive elements to model the door horizontally, entering slab 2, and set slab thickness with 3 centimeters. Level 0, building material, fiberboard, and cover fills. I'm going to use a solid fill with white pen, 126. A model override surfaces with wood bit. And OK, I model the slab with door size 70 by 210. To make some holes on the door, select the door, click on a node. Here we have the floating pallet, subtract from polygon. Here I'm going to use rectangular geometry method. Now I can draw to make the holes. I'll click again to use the subtract from polygon. I don't care about design quality because it's just to give an example. And now I can fill the spaces with glass. Go in slab 2 again. I'll change building material to glass. And just one centimeter of thickness. I'll change surfaces to glass clear fast. Pressing space bar, the magic wand appears. And you can click to fill. Check on 3D. To transform these elements into a door leaf, go to, to File, I need to select the elements, go to File, Libraries and Objects, Save Selection as Door Leaf, 
continue and save, the, the object will be saved in the embedded library. And you can type the name, I'll keep door leaf one and save. After I can erase these elements and go into door settings, I will select this door, door settings in door leaf, door leaf type, I'll select the custom door. And here we have door leaf one that I have created. You can see on preview. Click OK. And there is our custom door leaf. Therefore, to create a complete custom door, the principle is the same. You need to model horizontally and save it. So here on ground floor, keeping the DWG reference from ground floor, you can see the sliding door with six leaves. But before modeling the door, you have to note that door cannot be placed separately. It needs to be inserted into a wall. So use the eyedropper to copy parameters from this wall. And clicking first in this point, I design. And I'm going to use this reference to model. Uh, here is not straight. You need to pay attention in accuracy. And now it's right. So at the other side, I do the same. I'll select the door tool. I will invert the reference line side and until here. Now to, to avoid some problem with the wall connections, I will separate this element with a measure to output 472.5 because here we have another wall too so I don't want to connect these elements now we have the walls to insert the doors and this wall needs to be thicker I will move this wall here and I'll put I'll change the thickness to 17 centimeters. And also here the ideal is it may have the same thickness as door. So I will put 8 centimeters. Here you see the reference. I can adjust the edge. And here I'll, I'll put minus 0 0.5 again, and I'll have these dimensions. An essential thing to be explained is that we need to create two layers to represent the custom door, open and closed. In a standard door, we can easily represent the openings in 2D and 3D. Here, for example, Clicking in this pink dot, you can move it. But in a custom door, we don't have this versatility. Press Ctrl L to enter in layer settings. I'll click New to create a new layer. I'll just copy the text to help. I'll click Next. Here I'll paste and type the new layer name that will be arc4 
closed doors. I'll click new again. Control V to paste. And here I'll type open doors. And also, I will create new layer combinations to see the doors open and closed here in floor plan. I go floor plans. I will add the information close the doors. I will copy this text and click new to create a new layer combination. Control V to paste, and the next combination will be open doors. Selecting this combination, Aga floor plans, open doors. I will open the layer Arc 4, open doors, and close the other. Here, close the doors, and click update to save information. And selecting Aga floor plan, close the doors. I will open the layer, close the doors. And the other, get closed. I'll click update. OK. I will select the walls and put them in the arc floor. Close the doors. Here in 3D, for a while, I will activate the closed combinations to see the walls. So I will select here and click OK. Now we can model the door. Select slab 2. In settings, I'll put slab thickness with 2 centimeters, building material glass, surface glass clear fast, door leaf is gonna have 293 by 148. I will rotate this element. I can multiply, control U, choose drag, increment, five copies, and vertical displacement of three, because I want to take advantage to make the leaves overlap. I will do a first click to start the copies. And here, Instead of 148, I will type 146 to make overlap of 2 centimeters. You can use the ruler to check the total length, which is 878. And in 3D, you can see the door, the elevation creating an overlap between leaves. Now we can do the handle modeling. I want to make a round bar. Click on Bean tool. In segment, choose circular section, diameter 4 centimeters, and override surface with metal stainless steel. I will model not worrying about level. I can adjust on 3D. I'll put 1 and 20. Drag 80 centimeters. Here I did a copy, I will erase and drag 7 centimeters 
in 3D, you see the element is much above. I can check the door level. This slab is on is in the 15. This beam I have used to make the, the handle considers the axis level, as you see here. I want 4 centimeters of free space plus 2 centimeters of radius. We have 6. So the beam level is going to be 21. Here we have beam. And here is 21. Now we try it. And I have the possibility to make connections using column 2. I will select column 2, enter in settings, segment, I choose a round section with 2 centimeters of diameter and height of 6 centimeters. Surfaces in stainless steel. OK, in floor plan, click on the add to insert. Here is an uh, information telling me that the, the element is not visible. So here in 3D, I will select the column, Ctrl D to drag. I'll click in the bottom point, hold Shift key to keep the vertical movement and use this point on the door as reference to place the element. So now I can see in floor plan, I will move 20 centimeters and you can mirror a copy, control shift M pick the middle point and now in 3D I will select all elements, selecting all these elements, I go to File, Libraries and Objects, Save Selection as Door, Continue and Save, I'll keep the name New Door 1. Here we have the option to change materials and pens, but I will not change. And now going to ground floor, I will select door 2, entering on settings, you see in the embedded library, this new door 1 we have created. I will insert the door by a side point, putting sun to outside. Here I change the point. Do a first click and the second click to define the opening side. It has a big offset, but I will adjust it. I'll select in clicking in this door. We need to find a point, a hot point to, to select the door. Pressing tab key, you can find the selection. And I'll review to all face. I'll put minus 168. We still have a line here, I will turn off the reference, we still have a line in the wall. So in floor plan and section, here in outlines we have wall end lines, I'll put none. So now we have the door opening, but I need to 
split this this element is not correct, I will mirror the element. Select the wall, clicking here. I'm gonna use Control M to mirror. So here I pick a middle point. And I'll see the correct representation for the door. You can check in 3D. And you need the layer combination close the doors to see. Here is the, the handle we've modeled. So it's right. And now let's make the other door. In floor plan, we can copy this first one. So I will select Control Shift D to drag a copy. We need to do three leaves of 156. I will erase and keep just the leaf with handle. I will draw a line to use as reference. In document line two. I'm gonna draw a line. And here I'll do a copy of 156. Clicking in the edge of the slab, we have the option offset edge and do the offset into the line. Now I will select just the slab and Ctrl U to multiply, drag increment two copies. Vertical displacement is minus three. Okay, the first click to restart the copy, and second click, I'll put a difference of two centimeters to do the overlap, 154, enter. Using the ruler, you can check the total edge, it needs to be 464. Okay, I'll move the handlebar to avoid a conflict with the handle of the other door. So here I do a rectangle to select also the columns. Control D to drag. And here I'll put, I'll press D to enter in distance. Seven, enter. Select the door. Click on file. Libraries and objects. Save selection as door. I'll save as new door too. OK. Now I'll select door 2. It is with new door 2. I will insert. We can take a look on 3D. And we have the doors closed. Now in 2D, I'll do a change in the representations showing the, the opening of the leaves. Uh, before here, we still have a line in floor plan and section, wall end lines, I'll put none. So in floor plan, we need to change the representation to display door opening, select the door, I can select even in 3D, go to File, Libraries and Objects, Open Object, Open it as Object, I will close this window, and Open it as Object, here we have 2D Symbol. Click to enter. I can erase the handle if I don't want it in 2D. 
I'll make the arrow to represent the opening direction using line 2. Go to zone 102. And I'll move the leaves. So here I will make rectangles of selection. Control D to drag 20 centimeters after 40 centimeters. Sixty. Eighty and one hundred. I will close this window. Close again, save. And now you see the representation into D. I could do the same to the other door. So select file, libraries and objects, open objects, and clicking in 2D symbol. Here we have a different situation. For some unknown reason, the door doesn't appear in 2D symbol. So I will close this tab and enter in 2D view, make a rectangle, Ctrl C to copy, I'll click here in new door, and again 2D symbol, Ctrl V to paste, I will erase the handle, and move the leaves to show the opening. So do a rectangle. Twenty centimeters. You can do even more. I'll put forty five. And I can draw the arrow. Close the tabs, and here in scripts, you have scripts 2D, clicking in 2D, I will select the text and click on exclamation mark. Now you can close, save. And checking in floor plan, you see the changes we have made. Now I want to do completely open doors. Go into layer settings, Ctrl L, I have this layer combination. Close doors, and I will select the combination to open doors. Click OK. I'll put the reference to model these open doors using wall tool in settings. I'll put here in layer arc four open open doors. Override surfaces with glass clear fast. Beauty material glass. Two centimeters of thickness. A not linked wall with 293 of height. And here in floor plan and section, cut surfaces, cut fill. I'm gonna use white 126 okay 
I can model here. I'm gonna invert the reference line. Select the wall, Ctrl U to multiply. Drag increment five copies and vertical displacement zero. In 3D, you can see it because the, the active layer combination is for closed doors. So going to con layer settings, Control L. The ideal situation is to create these two settings for 3D2. I'll do it for the next class. But for now, I'll click here. Aga floor plans open doors. And it's done, you see here the open doors. So in the next class, I'll bring these combinations for 3D. And in the file of the next class, I will bring finished all other custom doors that follows the same principle here at the kitchen and along the corridor beside the stair.